It is so cold. It's actually minus 27 right now. You can see like, it's so cold, but it feels apparently like minus like 35. This is crazy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Um, as you guys just saw, I just got myself some Starbucks right here. Um, I actually got a, what is this again? Uh, just a chai tea latte. I love how these taste and I needed something warm it's freezing i actually just finished work um it's currently 102 and i'm just gonna go head home now i had like a morning shift so i'm all done now but i'm just gonna go head home as you guys can see today's video is going to be a vlog type video um i'm gonna start doing these vlog type videos more i just feel like i can start filming more and start posting more while i'm back at school for you guys um, so yeah, it's just gonna be a vlog. I think today I'm going to be organizing my makeup. It's kind of a mess and a lot of stuff needs to be decluttered. It's kind of getting out of control and I feel like there's a lot in there that I'm really not using. So I feel like we're gonna do that and then I have to clean my makeup brushes too and um, do some editing and stuff like that. So I'll just take you guys along my day with me. But um, yeah, I'm going to head home now and I will see you guys when I'm home. <laughs> So I am home now. I actually have been home for about an hour and a half now and I have been doing some editing. So I actually finished editing a whole video and um, it's currently uploading so that um, video should already be up by the time this video is up. Um, it's um, actually a getting ready for my graduation pictures. I just um, wanted to take you guys along with me while getting ready. I basically just did my makeup and hair and showed you guys the outfits I was wearing for my pictures. So if you do want to see that, it'll be linked down below in the description box. Real quick, I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. So I'm just wearing some black skinny jeans and then I'm wearing like this red um, blouse. And then this little jacket on top. Both the blouse and the jacket are from Dynamite. I think it's so cute. It has like these um, sequins roses on it. It's really cute. And then my jeans are just from Banana Republic. So this is my outfit. I kind of did my hair different today too. I just pinned it up in a little um, clip right here. And I'm actually kind of liking how it looks. I didn't curl it or anything. I just kind of left it natural. But I think it kind of works. And then my makeup is... Oh my god. And then my makeup is just like a brown natural makeup. Um, and then I'm wearing these little earrings right here. I think they're so cute. They're like little half circles. I really, really like them. So just a quick outfit of the day. But anyways, I'm going to start organizing my makeup. Um, because it's getting crazy. So we're going to do like a little declutter and organization. So I'm going to start off with the lovely foundations right here. So I'm just going to take them all out and put them on my desk. Alright, so I have all my foundations out and this lighting is so bad. So I'm just going to turn this on so that you guys can actually see what's happening <laughs> um okay so we're just gonna get started here powders so basically i've kind of thought about it and i don't think i have the energy to go through everything and declutter everything so today i think we're just going to tackle so foundations, concealers. I'm definitely going to be keeping my Revlon and, and then I'm going to do like a part two in another these. vlog or something sure where we'll do the rest. But um, yeah, we're going to tackle um, this stuff today. I, I think mean, I'll be doing more organizing. I don't know all how much decluttering we'll do together. So I think I should keep them for now. So yeah, I'm just going to keep these ones for now. I'm Milani. Okay. I'm also going to be keeping my 
Maybelline Fit Me Light Foundation. Mild Color Focus. So good to go. One. Um, I have this Becca one, which I'm still trying out. Guys, how could I get rid of this? My Physicians Healthy Formula. So much. I feel like I need to part ways with this. So this uh, is the L'Oreal Pro Match Pro Glow. Healthy, I'm going to be luminous with makeup. Effect. I think I need to let go of this. So Essence we're going to let go of it. It's like I'm really old and I think it's I have this Clinique one, which we're going to keep as well. Uh, I'm going to be keeping Dior and Maybelline. My my makeup forever I love, so I'm gonna keep it for sure. Okay. I have a bunch of stick Whew. Sorry, foundations guys. that we're gonna go through. This one is um, pretty new. I have this I just NYC got this and started get it all it, foundation. Still... It's really, really old. That sure. looks absolutely disgusting. So let's get rid of it. Sorry about that, my friend just called me. Um, so this one right here is the L'Oreal Stick Foundation. Now this one, I don't know if I like it or not. Like I, I did like a first impressions with it way back when, and then I kind of forgot about it. Oops. Um, but anyways, I'm wearing it today, and I wore it yesterday too, and it gave me so much like texture, which is so strange. Like I don't know if you guys can see. Look at all this. What the heck is that? why so i tried it out today again because i'm like maybe like it wasn't a foundation maybe my skin was just having a rough day um and the foundation looks fine but do you guys see how oily it is on my skin and i haven't been wearing it for that long like i can wear my foundations all day long if i prime and set them well i can be wearing them for a long time and this one just looks oily and it's looking cakey and it's rubbing off on my nose like it's getting oily really really fast and then it's rubbing off and let me say so I've stopped using concealer I don't use it as much at least um and I'll just go in with foundation all around my eyes and under my eyes and this creased so bad under my eyes can you guys see that like that big crease right there like what is that so I don't think I really like this foundation I'm gonna keep it around for a bit and see if I can make it work with other products um but so far I don't really like this. Let me know down below if you guys have used All this. Right, and I have this. If you have certain cushion foundation that makes it um, work better. Um, but I look wet wand so that I'm gonna right keep now. around. I don't, I don't get. know why. Um, I have like, my I'm using HD all foundation. the other products. This I usually really use one actually, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, these two right here from Rimmel are super old, and I don't really love the formulas anymore. This so one's also from Sassy go. and Shum, and then I also so made me look like a this BB greasy cream mess. So from Sassy, well. this wet one was actually Sassy really and nice. I didn't but like the formula for way too all. long. It was it's probably really really old, so we're just gonna get rid of it. Damn, I'm really proud of my progress. Okay, okay, I'm gonna keep this um BB cream from LA Girl around. And then I have this Neutrogena Healthy Skin. I'm gonna keep this for a bit. Um, it is a little oily, but sometimes I do like it. So I'm gonna keep that for now. And then I have some CoverGirl, which I like. Um, and then this new one from Makeup Forever. It's like a matte velvet. It's like a little deluxe sample. Um, you guys asked me to review this, so I'm going to. So I'm gonna keep it around for a little bit more. I just brought you guys closer so you can actually see what's going on here. So here are the concealers. All right, um, so there is the foundations. Gonna we're going to move on to this drawer right so here that I'm has going to be um, keeping this conce Bonnie Choice concealer. I actually really like it. Some Makeup Revolution. Uh, Milani Retouch and Erase. This one's actually a really nice one. Um, this LA Girl Color Corrector is really good. Um, and so is the LA Girl Concealer.
is really old, so we can get rid of that. Um, this Mariposa one is so old and I did not like the finish, so this better skin Hi. concealer from uh, Maybelline. This Wet n Wild one is nice for full coverage. These Rimmel ones have nothing really left in them, so I can throw them out. I have a Wet n Wild pen that I'll keep. Maybelline. Uh, Catrice is really nice, so I'll keep that. And then who in the world needs this many Maybelline concealers? Oh my god, I believe half of these are probably empty. Shade 20, which is not even my shade, so goodbye. <laughs> And for color correctors, I have focus. this one is Bella empty, but I'm gonna keep it around because I have to remind myself to get a love new this one. since I do really like the formula of it. So that's a lot better. And a lot of these, as I said, like these Maybelline ones are gonna go. I'm just gonna all right, use for the powders. These are all pretty good. One soon because this one's pretty destroyed, but I'll keep it around. I have this mega cushion, which is fine. And Close to empty. I think I'm just gonna use this Cody Airson one is basically empty. So the next drawer I have right here is full of primers, very unorganized as you can see, and setting sprays. So we're gonna go through this whole drawer and declutter and organize it. This is the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Spray. We can get rid of that. There's like nothing in it. Um, oh. Again, why? So <laughs> this one is why empty right here. It's empty. Focus. I guess I just forget to don't throw these things out. I have, have a new one right here. Make it dewy. That. ridiculous okay really Lavinia like really why so again two of these one is empty I really liked this setting spray actually it had a really nice mist I just found that I went through it way 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 too fast compared to other setting sprays but I guess it's it's fine um but yeah I'll just keep the new one this one right here is also empty so I'm gonna go through that I have this Catrice Prime and Fine which I like um, Mac Fix Plus, which is fine. I just got this one right here. It's the Essence Prime Plus Studio HD Hydra Primer Spray. It's actually really, really good. Um, I, I love the smell of it. Normal Insta Fix and Go. This one's so almost fresh. empty. I'm going to use the last fix. I love it so, so much. And then I have to go get a Very one. hydrating. So, so all I nighter. Really like that. Um, and then I have my Mario so, Bada. These are the ones I'm keeping. And these are the ones I'm getting rid of. I have the Catrice Prime and Fine. Who said there's a limit to how many primers you could have? <laughs> Look how many are here. Okay, we'll go through these. This is the Nivea Men Sensitive Skin After um, Shave Balm. My Zo Skin. Um, I really um, like sunscreen this. and primer. I'm going to keep. So I'm going to keep this. Of course, like, my L'Oreal Matte Lock. I actually and, just um, got this one, and I really, I really like how it makes my so skin much. look very, very smooth. This can go. I've had this forever. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte, so I'm going to get rid of that. I have a Milani instant touch-up stick that I'm gonna keep. Of course, gotta keep my beautiful, beautiful Tatcha primer. Um, let's see, I have some Makeup Forever, Smashbox, um, Milani Prem and Fine. I have this Catrice Honestly, one right here, which I, feel I feel like never I should get even rid of open. This. So I it's so old, and I feel like I should just get a new one. So this is the Maybelline Baby Skin. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this, and I'm also gonna get rid of this.
this um, hard candy sheer envy it's really good and I think I'll just go get a new one but it's so old and I really can't keep it in my collection anymore um, this wet n wild coverall primer again really really nice I just need to get a new one this one's like old <laughs> Um, I have the wet mold uh, doing. All right, guys. So here this. is the drawer. A, uh, now oh, it looks way way cleaner. I, I really like it. Water, um, but it's a really good. Yeah, I'm just happy so I got rid of some stuff that I wasn't using. These little or mini just samples, had to go like for traveling and stuff. Sitting so in here for way too long. Keep them for now. All right, guys, so here's everything I'm getting rid of. Um, you know, some things in here just I wasn't using or some things are really great products, but I'm, like, all out of. So, um, like, yeah, a bunch of those setting sprays I need to definitely go. So maybe I'll do, like, up, another um, vlog where I take you guys shopping Some more of and stuff because I really do, products, like, most of these products. Like, so I know what um, concealers are good. And um, a lot of these primers are really good. They're just replaced. But you know, anyways, I'm I think I'm going to new ones in my brush now because they're in desperate need of some cleaning. Um, at least my eye brushes are. So I think I'm going to clean my eye brushes and just a few face pro uh, brushes. I wanted to show you guys something. So I actually bought this at the dollar store. It's like a... Um, little tub like a plastic little tub and you just kind of stick it down in your sink just suctions and then you can grab some soap into your brush and you can just clean I'll try to find like a similar one so down below much easier you guys, than but I found it really cool and then your hand is like raw and it really I makes your brush done cleaning your brush super white like it I'm so happy staining. I found this thing it's a, it does a really good job like at cleaning them and you don't have to dollar sit there really um, work hard to clean your brushes this thing kind of just makes it super easy so I'm just going to clean all of these right here actually kind of a lifesaver like it really just gets all that tough makeup out of there all right guys so I just finished cleaning my brushes they're just on this towel um, waiting to dry And please subscribe if you guys haven't already.